the bowels of one of the world's largest and most polluted cities, where disease runs rampant and the stench is sickening. Human excrement, toxic waste, rotting cadavers, all flowing right beneath the sidewalk. The sewers of Mexico City are as disgusting as any on Earth. But this man, Carlos Barrios, has just given up a comfortable desk job for the opportunity to swim in them. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and Carlos is pulling a dead dog out of the sewer. He's making sure that the wastewater of Mexico City stays where it belongs. We pull up uh, all the things you can imagine. You can see chairs, cars, all kind of waste. Anything you like is in, is in the drains. Located in a massive basin, Mexico City is a crowded industrial colossus. Its sewer lines stretch for thousands of miles, some following channels dug by the Aztecs. The sewers are severely overtaxed. Not only must they accommodate runoff from the mountains, but also the waste from the toilets and sinks of 19 million people. The slightest blockage can send sewage flowing into the streets and subways, or worse, into the homes of thousands. At age 45, Carlos decided to leave his job as an accountant to join the team that keeps these sewers flowing. I have worked for the city about uh, 24 years. When I get bored of the office job, the opportunity came for me to dive, and I took it. It was a great change for me. I changed my life completely. Back at the base, the team receives an emergency call. The Aculco pumping plant has a mysterious blockage, and it needs to be cleared immediately. Once again, the dirty job falls to Carlos. Be calm and careful. If anything happens, don't despair. I will be the one to make decisions. We will be very safe. It is Carlos's life, so we will be careful. Carlos has no idea what to expect. Julio's team alone has hauled out more than a dozen corpses, most of them murder victims. Alone in this dark, claustrophobic environment, Carlos must remain calm and focused. Confusion can mean death. Carlos tries not to think about the soup of bacteria he's swimming in, including tetanus, typhoid, and cholera. His suit protects him, but it isn't armor. A sharp puncture could wreak havoc. If the suit is cut and you cut our skin also, you have to get to the hospital because of the environment. It's very contaminated. After a half hour search, Carlos locates the obstruction. There's a metallic object. I'm going to touch it to see what it is. Roger. The obstruction turns out to be a rusty wheel from an old sewage pump. Once they've located it, the team makes swift work of the problem. It's been a successful mission for Carlos, but before he can undress, he must be washed and scrubbed down with a disinfectant. In his new job, Carlos has found a renewed sense of purpose. I feel like I'm be someone who makes the people live better. With infinite amounts of sewage to tend to, Carlos has got plenty to keep him busy in the bowels of Mexico City.